Hello everyone. Today in this video I want to talk to you about sulfur. As you can see this is a chemical sulfur. I bought these but honestly I just use it one time and that doesn't work for me. It is a chemical and soluble in water. As you can see this is a color it looks like this and when you add it to water you can see this is a simple water and shake it it looks like this and honestly I use it just one time this product for my roses but it doesn't work for me always I'm gonna to use uh, this product as you can see it need to put it in this and show you what's the product you can see this is a natural sulfur they are really effective it works for fungus and for insect but if you sprinkle these on insect it cannot kill them just it front of sunlight produce a smell or gas and that uh, don't allow it insect comes in your garden another thing for use these is uh, for alkaline soil in my in my area uh, we have a uh, alkaline soil and uh, for sure uh, when I'm gonna to use these uh, it helps me forget uh, uh, acidic soil and you know uh, for example roses grape wines and some other plants need to be in acidic soil they don't like to be in uh, alkaline soil and in acidic soil they works really good it help for you get a high level acidic soil when you add it for grapes uh, in the soil for grapes you will be surprised about this and I'm telling you I use many time uh, almost five years ago chemical things and even organic things for insect and fungus on my fruit tree but none of them works for me but this one works really good and I'm really happy with this and another thing I want to tell you it is not bad for your body and this is a natural thing and as you know if you swimming in springs hot water you know uh, they have a, a sulfur in it that's a good for your skin and many people uh, go and swimming in springs hot water for uh, skin disease and uh, that is a, a good treatment for skin disease as you can see it cannot solve in water and you can see this is a almost a green and yellow between yellow and green you can see it cannot solve in water you can see
and it is not soluble in soil even you add it so add it to soil it uh, you can see it in the soil and uh, it is not soluble uh, but you can use these in two way one is you just need the sock nylon nylon socks woman socks you know like this and you can see I use the bottle I use the top the bottle for do this you can see and then I'm gonna to sprinkle these on my roses you can see like this uh, it is a windy day and it is not good time for sprinkle uh, these on your roses on your uh, grape wines but uh, I have no time for uh, make a video and uh, this is a uh, just I try to share with you how I'm gonna to use this and how it works as you can see before I added some to so you can see this is a sulfur I use for my roses and these roses you can see is a really healthy there is no any problem but for this one I don't use it as you can see it is a fungus and not about just this about this one my climbing roses you can see it has a fungus on it it has a powdery mildew on it uh, this is uh, my mulberry seedlings I will make a video about this some ask me what you did with your mulberry seedlings as you can see I plant them last year in this part of my garden and they are doing really good I grew them from seed I have a video about this I want just to test how uh, long it take a time for produce fruit in winter time they were in this part and nothing bad happened to them even though they were so small and tiny in this year I didn't use a sulfur on my garden and unfortunately uh, I'm not really happy about my plants and specific my roses and let me to show you this is my Brussels sprout you can see it is full of insect you can see I'm gonna to sprinkle this on it Probably you say it can kill the insect. No, it just keep them far away from your garden. I will make a video about this, and I'm gonna to give you an update after I use this sulfur on my vegetables and roses and even I'm gonna to use it on my strawberries you can see 
on my strawberries I have no and this is a problem this is insect this is a white fly insect and they got uh, some insects as you can see they are doing well and you can see it is full of runners and I got uh, lots of baby uh, and I harvest some strawberry uh, three weeks ago and they were not uh, so big uh, but they were so tasty and honestly after almost 10 years I uh, eat a real uh, strawberry that was uh, really fragrant and uh, really tasty so I'm gonna to use sulfur on them as you can see I sprinkle this uh, I'm gonna to put uh, uh, explanation about these product in my uh, descriptions and you can see uh, and you can find uh, if you have uh, any question where they come from and how you can use it and how it works and you I make uh, an article and I'm gonna to put it in description below the video and you can find some uh, information about this and I hope uh, you use these and uh, you try this product uh, this uh, powder for your plants and you will be surprised about that honestly it works really good for fungus for insect and I'm really happy about this I'm telling you in this year this is the first time I'm gonna to use it but last year I used this just two times one in spring and second in first of summer on my grapes on my roses on even other plants I sprinkle these all around my plants for 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 example this honeysuckle I give it just a half tablespoon for that one and uh, uh, that works and honestly uh, I'm really happy about this and even for grapes if you have a propagate grapes uh, I'm telling you use this product and you will be surprised about this you can see this is my propagate uh, propagate grapevines as you can see this is not healthy I'm gonna to sprinkle on it and even on top the soil and then I'm gonna to water it and I'm gonna to give you an update on my grapes and even on my plant and roses but for papaya I don't use it because papaya don't like uh, acidic soil keep in mind they don't like acidic soil just you should use for those plants and those fruit tree love to be in acidic soil or if they have a problem for exam insect or fungus you can use it and that works really good as you can see this is my gray points I did prune these yesterday and I'm gonna to prune this again a little bit more those branches has no fruit on it I'm gonna to prune them 
this one as you can see I make this little bit light it is a foliage and it is not really good and they cannot get enough sunlight for sure and the air condition is not really good so first of all before I'm gonna to use it on my grapes I'm gonna to clean these leaves and keep in mind you cannot use these leaves these leaves has a fungus on it you cannot add it to your compost place that's not really good for your compost and, and honestly they have no any nutrients uh, for sure uh, they have just a uh, lots of fungus in it even I'm gonna to clean all around my grapes on surface the soil I'm gonna to clean this and keep all these things as you can see this is a just a menu I give it to my grapes ton of grape uh, ton of manual and it works because of these I got ton of grapes on my grape wines uh, as you can see I sprinkled some in this part I'm gonna do sprinkle on top them from my balcony I'm gonna on my balcony with uh, bamboo uh, I'm gonna to sprinkle these uh, I tied up that uh, socks woman socks nylon socks uh, to uh, bamboo wood and I'm gonna to sprinkle on all my grapes even those are on my balcony I hope you can find some new and you can use these and share your experiment with other people honestly I recommend these to other people and when they use it they are really happy about this as you can see I add to this water another way is like this you can mix it with the water like this and then sprinkle on your plants this is not really easy to use a, uh, these tools spray tools uh, because they are not soluble but for use with the water you can make a hole on them and then give it to your plants like this it is not really bad but best way for use it is a sprinkle like uh, that I did thanks for watching me have a beautiful day happy gardening bye for now see you in next video